Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome back to Binding of Isaac Rebirth. So, we haven't gotten uh, Magdalene yet, because I don't have heart containers. That's okay, I don't really like her that much. Cain would be awesome. Don't have Judas, don't have Eve. Not picking up parts for two levels. We do have Samson, and we have Azazel. Lazarus, four plus soul hearts, and then Eden tokens. Weird. Okay, so you know what? I'm just going to go with the uh, crazy stupid setup. Go with Azazel. wonder what those eyes are. So first and foremost, we fly, and it looks like we've got mini lasers. Really? Well, this is going to be hella scary. Well, considering the way things are set up, I think it's a probably terrible idea for me to uh, go into a curse room. I think it said negative one hearts. I really don't know what that means. It could mean quite a lot of things, and I'm a little bit concerned to figure out what exactly the dark hearts do. <laughs> it's like dark hearts, dark hearts, cute. Um, did I see a heart in here? Yeah, I did. Can I pick it up? The answer is no. So I don't know. I, I do have to say on the previous room, or previous room, previous ru run, I think the only reason, what the crap is that? Uh, previous run, I definitely did win as a result of that jar. So what do we got now? Ramming speed. Um, well, that's inherently concerning. So, first and foremost, cool thing about Azazel, dude flies. So, it's essentially like starting with, a ah, freaking, Angel Wings or Spirit of the Night. Cartridge. I remember these. I don't remember that. Okay. So, we've already taken some damage. It's bad. I should be fine. But it's hard to tell. I've never used a close range character. Mm -hmm. I've never used a close range character before. So, oh, interesting. So the spirit hearts refill our weird nega hearts. Alright, and it's famine. Well, I was not expecting to face off against a horseman. Admittedly. And the problem is, we have to be up close and personal to kill most of the bosses. Luckily, we do crazy amounts of damage if I can hit him with a full salvo. Which is convenient, and... Actually, wow. You know, I do have to say, I really dig Famine's new design for his face. Ah, well, there we got hit. Here's our spirit heart. Luckily, there's no deal with the devil on Book of Revelations. Has appeared in the basement. And we get Ball of Bandages. Gotta lick them all. What the shit does that mean? Okay, well, whatever. Let's go down a floor. By the way, uh, for those of you watching this series that have seen Binding of Isaac before, please tell me. What's the, uh, what's the deal with the secret rooms? I, I've looked it up, and I've never been able to truly understand it. And, you know, if you actually have the answer for me, feel free to tell me. In fact, feel free to tell me anything that you know about this game. Because even though I'm particularly, like, I'm playing through this game blind, once I've seen something, if you, if you want to tell me what it is, you know what I missed, or if I made a serious, uh, error of judgment, go for it. I do not mind getting hit, hints, tips, you know, all that kind of jazz. Because I do like knowing about the game, it's just one of those where I sometimes... What the crap are those guys? Oh, they leave the little mini damage areas. Well, that kind of makes sense. Neep. So, thing is, I'm not sure how my Nega Hearts handle... I haven't found the item room yet. Ah, whatever. Worst comes worst, we die. Ah, it's Mon... Mm. So Monstro's going to be a bit of a problem for me. Maybe. I guess I'll just have to make strafing runs on his face. The thing is, the moment he decides to pop, it's gonna be a problem. Oh, what? Ah, oh, shit. Must have gotten hit there. Ah, I was not paying attention. I swear I dodged it, but oh well. A little bit too late for that kind of business. Yep. So, I have to say, I'm really enjoying Azazel as a character. I could just see him having some uh, weird limitations along the way. Like the fact that uh, you can't pick up red hearts, I think. Yep. So he's got spirit hearts, sort of. Mom's coin purse. Ow. Shoot. What do these things do? I don't friggin' know. I don't, actually don't recognize any of them. One of them looks like judgment. One of them's horns. One of them's a hood. Let's try it. Let's see. Ceremonial ro robes. Sin up. Well, let's see what this one does. Bad trip. Hey, as a result of Bad Trip, I got my Nega Hearts back. Unlocked Lazarus. Balls of Steel. Yeah! 
Health up. Balls of steel. The fool. And got some hearts. Okay, so things have made kind of a dramatic turnaround as far as things go. I'm really not sure how I uh, got my health back earlier. Oh boy. I'm just gonna wait a second. And there we go. Go to the item room. What do we get? I think it's the box? A box of spiders? It's a box of spiders. I don't even know that. Oh, it's a use item. I was wondering about that. Alright, so... Not going back that direction. And, uh, now that we've found the item room, going to the shop would be pointless. And there's no reason for me to stick around on this floor. So let's just leave. I have interesting questions about how the box of spiders is going to work. But, you know what? Whatever. Now the question is from my nega hearts. Nope, they do not refill. And we've got a battle room. I'm not sure... Yeah, let's try it. Drops actually seem to be... Mm. Drops actually seem to be kind of nice in battle rooms now. And as I say that, I find a... Yee! An eternal heart, which is awesome. Actually, taking out these red guys is hella easy. In uh, Azazel form. Okay. How did I even unlock Azazel? I don't even remember doing so. It's just like, oh, you got Azazel now. Okay. <laughs> well, with... Oh, shit. It's one of these guys. They are... Yep. Okay, so I gotta be charged up for this one. There! It works. Okay, so we've got... Ca uh, we don't have much cash. Oh, nope. That's Troll Bomb. But we do have a key now. We have fire. At least the fire doesn't seem to come back. Let's see if I can just get it with the full salvo. There we go. I don't even know why I'm specifically going for the fire apart from just, I don't know, obsessiveness? Okay. Flies are mostly dead. Let's box of spiders. Huh. Interesting. Really? Well, why not? Health up. And we get our fool. So, at this point, we've amassed Book of Shadows. Temporary Invincibility. I'm going to go with it, just because Book of Shadows seems like it's going to be better in the long run and if we find an arcade. Speaking of arcades, ah, nuts. Uh, speaking of arcades, I forgot about the arcade that we ran into earlier. I'm going to go with the fork. I'm not entirely sure what it does, but me. Okay. Note to self, kill the spiders from the side. Ooh, skull key. I think I'm gonna wanna see if I can get more than just that though. Okay, there we go. So I do have to say, Book of or Box of Spiders does have some interesting applications, as in those spiders are actually pretty ridiculous. Bombs are key. Oh, that's exactly what we wanted. Okay. Okay, I don't. What the shit? That was freaky weird. Well, at least we found the boss. We've already found the item room. And there's no real reason for me to go into the shop. I'm not sure if golden skull, uh, if the golden keys are like single floor or whatever. But hey, why not? Get coins. Mentally prepare ourselves and go off to fight the boss, Gertie Jr. Now, well, that was bad. Should be fine. I've got plenty of spirit hearts to. God damn it. Ah. Uh. The problem is, last time I fought Gertie Jr., I had a crazy speed boost, so he was a little bit on the easier side of things. Oh well, either way. Here's our speed and damage up. And we're full health, we got spirit hearts, we got hearts to sacrifice, and we can get more of these weird nega heart containers. And I could go for br Brother Bobby. He's not great. Uh, at the same time, I'm going to go for him. Because the thing with Brother Bobby is, while I'm charging my... Uh, my bad breath lasers he's going to shoot so he's going to give us some amount of consistent shot uh, so. do we have multiple stores let's try it okay oh hello hmm so we've got a pill so the thing is because we have that golden key we can open up any and all chests without consuming a key i think at least it seems that way. Hello. So we can get the Bible, Temporary Flight, which is worthless to us. Or, we can get the Book of Belial, Damage Up. 
I'm gonna go with the Book of Belial. Book of Shadows is tempting, but I get the feeling I'm gonna get a lot more mileage out of Book of Belial. For a lot of reasons. Because we already do a lot of damage. Let's just use it, because why not? I was hoping it would kind of actually be the Book of Revelations. Though, if I remember right, the Book of Revelations actually... Huh. So that's how the batteries work in this game. I was hoping it would be the Book of Revelations just so we could constantly be spawning more spirit hearts. So if I could have a bunch of spirit hearts, that'd be amazing. Because uh, I think with the Book of Belial, it's a single room use thing, which is perfect for taking on bosses. Oh, interesting. I can go back to the deal with the devil room. Not like there's anything here. Anyway, let's go down. I, I'm actually flooring myself a little bit with my uh, efficacy here. I was expecting a lot more failure. Yeah, Brother Bobby is not exactly the best of buds, but at the same time, he does provide, uh, he does provide a useful, useful service, even if it's not exactly the greatest. Well, I can't pick up any of these, but, eh, why not? Oh, those are skeletal people, so I have to worry. Ah, damn it. What the? I don't even know what that was. I got an extra dark heart for whatever reason. I found pills! Well, I look pretty messed up now. Uh, what the? Oh, it's these guys! I was, I was having trouble identifying them. It's the little headless guys that shoot off the green explody orbs. It took me a little bit to recognize. I, I don't know. It's been a while. Dime. We should go on a shopping spree then. Okay. And keep going. Luckily, we've got... We've got the, like, Azazel Blasts. And the thing about them is they make amazingly short work of these guys who normally require a couple of shots to take down. Not today. Okay, so I've got three spirit hearts and two weird mega hearts. Works for me, especially because we can come in here. Mega fatty. Weird. Nope. Okay. I'm not sure what the super damage boost as a result of the Book of Belial does, but God, can't take too many of those hits. The shit easy. Oh. Oh, God. Uh. Barf lasers. Okay. At least we're, you can see where they're coming. There we go. And he's dead. Do I. Yep. I get lipstick. Now, here's the question Range up. Determine the uh, barf lasers. Doesn't look like it has much of an effect. That's a shame. Oh, well. I'll be fine. Now, let's see what we got in the deal with the devil room. I kind of feel like Azazel's the new blue baby. I don't even know what the hell that thing is. Why not? Dark matter. Fear shot. Works for me. So we are now completely out of heart containers, but that's okay. Because we're actually pretty much net gain. Well, we've actually gained stuff throughout this entire run. Let's pull up the map for a second. Doesn't look like we found the item room yet. Meaning, we got some work to do. I'd prefer to not ha have to look. But, oh, hey. We found it. Now, I could clear the other rooms, but that seems kind of unnecessary. I don't know. My luck is actually kind of good as far as, like, finding stuff goes. But I should probably find the shop and... What, what is this? Sagittarius. Penetrative sh shop and shot speed up. So that is actually kind of useless for us. But it works. I also feel like I've gotten a... Sp I got a speed boost as part of it, too. I know those things shoot. Okay. Is that? Yep. Well, I was going to say Book of Shadows would be good, but it's not going to be worth anything to us right now. Well, I'll go into the arcade and see what I can do. I could gamble for a little bit. I'll come back. So I want to find that shop first and foremost. Otherwise, we're going to end up wasting our cash on things. At least if you uh, approach those guys from the side, you generally do fine. Okay. Wow. Two. I am like Lord Murder. And there's the shop, as far as I can tell. There we go. Perfect. And we're good. We've got so much maneuverability here. I'm really digging this character. I, Azazel runs might actually be flavor of the day for a little while. Especially while we try and unlock characters. I'm going to switch back and forth between them. Make no mistake about that, but best friends forever. I don't know what that means. Oh, interesting. Donation is cross-run. I wonder what that means. Anyway, best friends forever. Your friends rule. I don't know what that means. 
Not in the slightest. Anyway, let's keep going. I was really hoping you'd sell a spirit heart to me of some kind. Oh, hey, we get another weirdo nega heart. And we get to go into a boss fight room. The rewards may be a bit on the disappointing side of things. Ow. Well, ow. That was not what I was expecting to happen. Interestingly enough. Oh, you know what? I've got poison damage attached to my attacks now. That's awesome. I am kind of a wrecking ball. He's popping up. Peep. Shit. I was really hoping against peep right now. At least we've got the maneuverability and flight to not have to worry about peep too much. Uh, especially because we don't have to worry about the crazy damage he does. I just have to worry about his shots before I approach him, because unfortunately, unlike regular runs, I can't get close to his ass. But at least we do, like, stupid damage. Speaking of, Book of Belial should be... Wait, I killed... <laughs> I killed him. Whoopsie! Oh, well, we get a key for our trouble, and... Let's see, we found the shop, we know where the arcade is, room of self-sacrifice, there's no reason to go through the next room, unless I really wanted a key or a bomb. So in that case, this is not the arcade. In, the, mm, in this case, let's go gambling, just for a little bit. Chances of uh, succeeding at anything? Pretty low. Actually, fly love would be pretty useless to us at this point. Oh, if I get lucky, I get lucky. I guess the main goal here is if I can get a couple of spirit hearts. It's low. Our chances are low, but it's always worth a shot. Brother Bobby is definitely helping out here. Because the thing is... Ow. Oh, okay. Yep. This is worth our money. I mean, yeah, saving up for the shop would be nice, but if I, if I could have, like, four or five spirit hearts going here and there, that's going to put us in a really solid position. And I know I kind of hate gambling in terms of, like, on an episode-by-episode -episode basis, just because it does take up a lot of money, and if you really want to cheese it, you probably could. At the same time, we don't have any heart containers, so there's not a whole lot of cheesing that can go on here. It's mostly just kind of doing our own thing. Okay, well, l luckily Brother Bobby truly is earning his keep, and... Wow, that's a lot of bombs. I wish I could sell bombs. Probably should have gone for the vending machine, actually. Oh, well, uh, that's all of our cash. So, now we leave. Actually, no we don't. We leave a bomb with him. He gives me that thing. Ringworm. No idea what that does. There's fork. <sighs> Give me anything good. A little bit of cash. And it works. And this is one I don't want to get close to. Perfect. Sort of. I mean, it gives me it gives me money. And the thing is, we're sitting on so many bombs. Why not? I was really hoping I could get something like the blood bag, which is like one or two heart, heart containers, both of which pretty damn worthwhile. Either way, though, let's go down a floor. This is nothing left for me here. We're making bank. I'm hoping I can get some more heart... Shit, did I forget an eternal heart prior? Yeah, I did. I just left it behind. I'm a dumbass. Oh, well. Bit too late for uh, regrets like that. Well, uh, that's, that's definitely the sort of thing that I'm going to remember along the way. Let's do it. Hmm. Ow. I'm trying to hit these guys, but unfortunately the charge... Charging my lasers is rough. Jumpers. Freaking jumpers. At least they're not the weird, crazy, bleedy jumpers. Or no, no, no. When they get set on fire, that's when they're problematic. Oh, well. Again, I'm staying kind of at zero some victory. Oh, these are brain guys. Oh, wait, no. Never mind. That is far less threatening than I was expecting. Okay, because the thing is, the brain guys can be harmed by the Azazel laser. Which is awesome. Anybody else? Nope, just coins. Okay, so honestly, that was not worth it. It's not the end of the world. What the shit? Okay, well. The Azazel laser pretty much wrecks everything. I have to worry about that fire just for a second. There we go. Don't have to worry about it at all. Yee. Oh god, they're the face versions. Well, our general speed and destructive nature do kind of make them a little bit easier. Okay, let's charge up before we go into the next room. Oh. If I was not flying, I would have totally just wrecked myself. I would have gotten shrek. Well, this is going to be obnoxious. 
at the very least, I can kill them super damn fast. It's just, uh, if I, wait, do they? Oh, no, I was hoping that they would only go along one axis, which would have actually made it really easy to fight them. Turns out I am incorrect. Well, either way, beat this room. Uh, what, what can a guy do to get more spirit hearts? Oh, well. Well. <sighs> Destroy everyone, really. Like, seriously, we do a lot of damage. It's just a matter of hitting them with the entirety of our, you know, crazy barf laser. Oh, well. Whoa, mega poop. Whoa, mega poops. Whoop! Those mega poops actually charge you. I was admittedly not expecting all of that. Okay, I can't bust open those fires. So we got a feather. What does the feather do? Holy white death. Okay, so it looks like it's got a really long cooldown on it. And we've got a golden key. Yep, never mind. I was gonna say. Well, we get the steam sail, which is not exactly the greatest. I was really hoping that I could use the holy white feather. But the thing is, we murder things way too fast. Okay, I'm just gonna go into this room. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. Okay, so what the feather does is it uh, does the, like, Isaac lasers on things. Which, honestly, ain't that great for what we're doing. I can see it being really good. Also, I need to keep my eyes out for tinted rocks. But let's go back to the item room. God, this game moves so much faster than original Isaac. I love it. Like, I was really apprehensive about this game purely because I honestly was not sure what they were going to be doing to improve at all. Oh! Almost tried to pick that one up. Well, I tried, and then I realized it wasn't doing shit for me. Okay. Well, I'm a little bit concerned about the fight against Mom, just because, but at the same time, I mean, we do enough damage that it might not be a problem. <laughs> Zazel, you are nuts. I love it. Huh. Ace of Spades. I think that's the one that gives you more bombs. Which is not really that mm, necessary to us. Oh, I see that. Well, we found the boss. Is this where we fight bomb? Uh, I don't know. I'm going to keep going for a little bit longer just because it's not like we're going to run out of spirit hearts along the way. But, nope. They jump. I forgot. They jump. Oh, they keep jumping. God damn it. Just die. Jeez. <laughs> they jump way too much. Okay, so this is actually really convenient. These guys are not the uh, brain masks. I've yet to run into the Mask of Infamy yet, either. Where's the store? Is there... There's no store. Or... Right. It was greed. Of course, it was, it was greed. Oh well, we're doing we're doing all right, and it's the cage again, for better or worse. Okay, so first and foremost, Book of Belial. I gotta charge my lasers. I do stupid. Me. That that shit is scary. At the very least, we've got stupid damage. So as long as we don't let him hit us with the stone shots, we're all good. Oop. And I, I'm feeling pretty confident here. It's like one more. One more blood lasers. Yeah! And that gives us food, which gives us one heart container, which lets us go in here. And... Okay. So... This is an interesting conundrum. So we could go with Dead Cat, which I believe is nine lives, which gives us nine chances problem is I'm not sure how it all works. There's also the goat head, which I'm super con um, super interested in. I really don't know what the goat head does. Ah, fuck it. Let's try it out. Goat head. Well, uh, I mean, we could try nine lives. I don't, I don't know what it would do. I think it might get rid of all of our shit, though. I'm, I'm, this is not going to be a guppy run. There's no chance we're going to get guppy. Because we've got, like, one more floor, and then, actually, no, we got more. It feels like the game's been expanded. Okay, we might have actually been a bull... Really? Double chubs? That's nuts. Ow, well, I 
Can't say I didn't deserve that one. Well, he's dead. Okay, so the health bar is not individualized. I was wondering why he was... Now, does he take damage from those spikes? I have no idea. I don't like how the game handles the camera in uh, big rooms, though. Because I find myself making a bunch of stupid mistakes like that because I'm not 100% in control of what I'm doing. Much to my general shrink. I am rich. Okay, so... I don't see any tinted rocks. At least none that I can identify as tinted. Uh, we could just go around blowing up rocks for a oh, Shit. This is a kind of wacky looking room. Luckily, these guys are weak. Like, hella weak. Okay, so we can go into the... Oop. We can go into the arcade to potentially... Oh, this is kind of shitty. Because the thing is, I have to risk sh getting shot by the blood flies or the weird face things. We are down to, effectively, four spirit hearts, which is not so great. Okay. We're doing all right, though. Honestly, if we don't beat Mom, it's not going to, uh... It's not going to offend me much. Honestly, I'm just, I'm just messing around. Our luck last time was pretty awesome. Hey, we can go into the boss room. I'll consider it. Oh, wait. It's the weird dick worms. It's like the only name I can come up with them, because they kind of look phallic. Like if you... Right, I'm going to I'm gonna stop this. It's kind of hella gross. Oh, that's a troll bomb. Don't want that. Don't want that business. So I have to say, I really enjoy Azazel from, like, many perspectives. The only problem is, quite simply, his range is terrible. Gold. Midas Touch. I have no idea what that means. Do nope, doesn't turn poop gold. I have no idea what that's going to do. Well, if we can find the shop... Nope, this is a room of self-sacrifice, actually. You know what I can do? I do kind of wish my whole body would flash, because when I'm looking up, it's pretty hard to see, especially with the goat head on. It's pretty hard to see if... Whew, scared me for a second. It's very hard to see if I've... Uh, hello? What? The crap kind of boss or fight is this? So I guess we've got like semi-invisible demon dudes that come after us. Weird. Death. Anything over here? Doesn't look like it. Eh, works for me. Really wish I remember what the fool does. And it's kind of one of those where it's like I want to use it, but at the same time I get the feeling I'm going to use it and kill myself. Could happen. Has happened. But if I remember right, that's the tower. I could look at Platinum God. Let's just do it. Okay, the fool. Teleports us ass. Oh, shoot. I could have used that. Oh, let's go back over here and pick up death. So you know what? I can use that. On this room. Why not? That was a terrible idea. Why would I ever do that? Oh, well. Bit too late for uh, regrets. Also, all of these guys are colored. That's mildly racist. Okay. Oh, whatever. Whoop. This is concerning. At the very least... Uh, one, one of the things I really enjoy about Azazel is you can do strafe attacks. Uh, what the crap? I've never seen a creature like that before. Looks like they're pretty easy to avoid if you can fly, though. Which is... nope. I just gotta keep avoiding, though. Because I don't... I don't know how much... okay. He's dead. Beautiful. And we found the shop. So I can go back up to the arcade, but let's see what we got in here. So, seeing as we got the steam sale, extra pill room. Well, also gives us a pill. What's it do? Damn it. That's not what I want. Oh, well, not the end of the world. So, we're technically at four hearts. I've got 27 coins. And we've got, like, one more shop we'll be able to go to. So, why not, while we're here, see what I can get. Ah, oh, freaking... Oh, interesting. Midas Touch. Anything that uh, hits me. Uh, it will, anytime I get hit, I get gold. Well, that's a nice benefit. Gotta worry about... I feel like his hitbox has been reduced. Oh, well, not the end of the world. I'm hoping I get Kane soon, just because Kane is kind of fun when you hit the arcades. This is like gambling time episode. I don't know. This, ooh, ah, oh, this one might be Scatoli. Might not, though. Nope. Oh, well, not a big deal. I'm really just hoping for one or two spirit hearts. If I can get that... If I can get those... I mean, freaking hematemesis. 
extra hearts. Not exactly what we need right now. We got a lot of other important things, like uh, spirit hearts and the fact that, you know, we can't pick up normal hearts. Oh well. Uh, at least Brother Bobby is doing things for us. Also, don't know what the bandage, uh, ball of band-aids does. That, that part interests me. Don't know, though. Well, I blew that one up, so no spirit hearts from him. Crystal ball would be amazing, but chances are we're not going to find that either. Well, let's see if I can get this guy to blow up. Chances are no. I, I guess he only blows up if I get Scatoli, I think. Weird. He kind of like popped up and went away. No idea. Well, works for me. When worst comes to worst, we can blow up the uh, blood bank and see if I get a blood bag. That'd be nice. Chances are low, but you know what? Always, always worth a shot. It's not like I'm going to be using my money anytime soon. And if I lose, I lose. It's not like it bothers me that much. I, I like Azazel. I'm just not sure if I'm totally in control. I'll, I guess also one of the one of the biggest stop stopping points for me is Shirley. I don't know what half of the enemies do in the game yet. I don't recognize them or the items by sight. And once I've memorized like what all of the items do, then we're in a golden position. But until then. It's mostly going to be uh, fear, confusion, and uh, death, eventually. It's inevitable. But, you know what, if I can beat Mom and make it down to the womb, I'm gonna feel good about things. Chances are, not gonna happen though. But, always worth a hope. Freaking... The, the problem is you have to get close to this guy, and I am... I'm not good at... Oh. We'll get Scatoli, for better or worse. I think that should be close enough. I'm not entirely sure. And we get nothing of it. Any value. Okay, let's go find that boss. Honestly, what I probably should have done was just gone straight for the boss and then figured things out. But to... Oh, wait. It's because it's mom. Oh, shoot. I really feel dumb for... Well, let's use Book of Belial. Now, the question is, how temporary is that damage boost? Well, also, she does... Oh, we are going to die. We are going to die very hard. Actually, we might we might live for just a little while here. Yep, we got her. Except for this guy. That would be horrible if he killed me. Okay, magic mushroom. Oh, we got one heart container. That's ridiculous. Okay, um, hmm. Could do the boss fight room. Ah, yeah, screw it. Let's go down to the womb. Chances of winning? Very slim. I'm okay with this sort of thing. I just want to see the womb. Uh, Utero won. Mainly because, I mean, our chances of victory are slim. But, it's always worth a shot. Oh, whoops. I'm wasting keys left and right. It's not like it matters that much to me. Okay. So, chances of getting... Uh-oh. What the heck was up with them? I don't know. I don't understand. If I can get balls of steel... Yes! Okay. The thing is... Damn it. I was gonna say, the thing is, our chances of winning are actually kind of okay. Bombs are key. Wait, what? Okay. Well, we found the boss, which... Yeah, fuck it. It's not like we're gonna be... Uh, I don't think there's an item room. So we're up against Loki. Interesting. Loki is in halves. Weird. Ow. Damn it. Well... Okay, well, we've beaten Loki. We're down to Utero, too. We get Jesus Juice. Damage range up. Does that make any difference for our blood lasers? The answer is no. Okay, so I could go with Gimp Suit, Shovel, which is worthless, or Weird Creepy Thing. Here's the question. How stupid are we? Because, actually, come to think of it, let's do it. What's it do? Rotten Baby. And apparently that kills me. Ah! <laughs> I deserved it. I was hoping that having zero hearts wouldn't kill me, but turns out that only works if you've got spirit hearts. Either way, uh, hey, I don't think I'm going to be making that mistake anytime soon. So, I'll see you guys on the next episode of Binding of Isaac Rebirth, and I will do something not nearly as stupid as that. Probably. We'll see. That was a fun run, though, and we're learning things, which is the main point. See you guys then, and as always, thanks for watching.